So every once in a while a student will um, forget how to log in, maybe they'll lose their password or whatever and contact you. Now, um, you know, maybe because they haven't been logged in for a while and they just forget so many passwords to remember. Um, they can actually uh, help themselves. If you notice underneath the um, login here, there's a lost password link. So they just have to click that and um, this screen will come up and they what you they do is either they enter their username if they remember it or their email address um, if it has to be the same email, email address that um, they use to um, uh, you know create their account so once they've done that they just click OK and they'll be sent an email that looks something like this it just basically says that um, someone's trying to change their password and they just have to click this link here to confirm that they really did um, want to change their password and it'll take them back to the site um, or at least it'll confirm it and then they'll get another email with a temporary password and they can then log in and, and uh, change the password to anything they want. So basically they don't really have to contact you if they read that. Now some students um, will still have problems with that. Maybe they didn't see the um, link and so then you're going to have to change it. So as a teacher, um, I've given teachers kind of extra rights on, on uh, uh, changing user stuff and seeing users. So. Uh, in your site administration on your front page you'll see a user link there so to change the password for them just click on users click on accounts browse the list of users and then um, you know like do a search you might be looking for um, anybody just type in the first few names for a few letters or something to see who it is and you'll get the names then you just um, click on whatever the name of the student is um, I'll just pick this one here and you get their profile and you can see that there's certain things you can notice in their profile of course and one of them is just editing it so you would click edit profile and you can see that you can put in a new password here um, the unmask is just so you can read what you're typing um, so you know whatever and the force the password change would be um, you're going to send them an email now and say okay I've changed your password to Bob um, when you log in, it'll ask you to change your password. Um, if you don't tick that box, then it won't, and your password will always be Bob. And it's simple as that. Hope that helps.